Y'all, what up? I'm feeling so much better today. It was a meal my wife got me from Trader Joe's. You gotta, I love Trader Joe's, but you gotta watch that stuff, man. That stuff, you, know, you gotta watch that stuff. But uh, the entire Cowboy fan base is feeling pretty good today. Um, Romo was out there. He looked. He didn't. He he didn't celebrate the touchdowns and all that kind of stuff. He was very ginger. I did not like when when he was out there late. I really didn't like that. But the the fact that they played him, even though I didn't want them to play them him, it worked out positively. And right now, and, and trust me, people, you you can only live in in your life and everything. You can only live for the now. Right now, that was the right call for the Dallas Cowboys. Now. Who know, my issue is I don't want to end up like we were last year when he fought and fought through pain and pain and through this and that all through the season and then we get to a chance to get to the playoffs at the end and we don't have Romo and we won't have Romo into the playoffs so what good is it to have your, your, your star quarterback, your good quarterback and you're not going to have them in the playoffs. So it's just a little, it's just a little, the last year kind of worried me. You know, it kind of worried me. Because last year, Orton could have won that game in, in, in uh, Washington. Romo was sucking the entire game, and he gutted out, and he got that pass to DeMarco Murray at the end of the game to win. So he was already hurting in that game. So he could have set out that game, and maybe we would have had Romo for the, for, for the playoffs because we would have beat, I don't know, maybe we Philadelphia, but somehow I think we could have beat Philadelphia. We had if we were going full, full strong last year. But um, short and short, I don't want that to happen this year. But right now, it was the right call, and the Cowboys, uh, Cowboys, and the fan base were all doing good. The second thing is I'm kind of worried about this Des Bryant situation because uh, I heard Adam Scheffner say on on T. I think it was Adam Scheffner that the Cowboys are very weary of giving Dez this money because of his recent actions. Now, me and you, you and I, we haven't heard anything, you know, since the mama incident, but, you know, they they went back and they showed how many times the police and other city officials have been called to Dez's house for certain things. And if this came from the cowboy organization, if the cowboys are doing that to Dez, I am mad. I am mad because that's wrong. I mean, when he was going through the situation with his mama, the Cowboys organization was, oh, we believe in Dez, we believe in you, we and, and stood by him, helped lawyer him up and everything, and, and, and got through that situation with the belief in Dez, but now when it's time to pay Dez, you don't believe in him? I don't get that. I don't get that. I don't get that thought. So I, I hope those reports are wrong i hope you know that that everything is all right or whatever because if you're going to believe in him when you know he could do stuff for you when you was playing him that little bit of money then believe in him when you're going to pay him that big money i don't want to hear any of all right everybody sorry the phone cut off but i'm heading to the gym because wifey has been in my grill because of my gray and, and how I look. Cause I, ain't, I ain't been in the gym in months. And you look like that. I hope you ain't making videos like that. And I'm like, yeah, I've been making videos like that because I've been watching your child. So it got real ugly and she won. And I'm heading to the gym and the gray will be gone next time you see me. All right, holla at you. Peace.